All right, we continue to focus on the blaze that broke out in the Johannesburg CBD on Thursday. Action SA President Herman Mashaba says the fire in Johannesburg highlights South Africa's lawlessness and its impact on job creation. He joins us now. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mashaba. You say that the fire and the hijacking of buildings indicative of so many problems that we have. Absolutely, uh, Francis, and good evening, and good evening to the listeners. Unfortunately, you know, as a country, we sit with one of the highest sustainable unemployment rate in the world. And one of the drivers of this high unemployment is uh, the breakdown of the rule of law. Um, and um, this, uh, what happened, uh, this incident that had really happened in Johannesburg over the, the last few days has really been... Uh, really one of those challenges and this unfortunately are challenges that uh, we are all are aware of it's not really something that honestly i don't really believe any south african can tell me that um, they got surprised uh, by 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 this tragedy this was a tragedy we bound uh, to, uh, to happen because uh, the hijacking of uh, buildings People living in squalor has been a trend over the last, uh, what, 15, 20 years. Yeah. And uh, really nothing tangible uh, actually uh, really been done about it. So you are one of the people who were in a position to make a difference. You were the mayor of Johannesburg between 2016 and 2019. And you keep saying that you did try and deal with this issue. Whatever you did was reversed. Just take us back. Um, can we agree you didn't achieve much in three years, but what were you trying to do? Yeah, well, it's, it's really very sad, very unfortunate. Uh, you know, uh, as you're aware, I took over as the mayor in August of 2016. And on the 1st of December 2016, during the 100 days uh, of letting residents of, the, of Johannesburg, what I have achieved or uncovered, Housing was one of the major problems. Uh, 300,000 people on the house, housing list, some of them uh, dating back to 1995, 1996. And, but at the same time, uh, uh, realized a huge opportunity to address housing by uh, actually exploitation of these hijacked, derelict, abandoned uh, buildings. And uh, yes, and uh, then introduced a program called the Inner City Rejuvenation Plan when we had uh, a, a unit in in the city for the, for the first one actually in the municipality where i introduced the group forensic and uh, investigation services headed by um, general sibia and within that unit we had one specifically to deal with hijacked buildings and in the three years uncovered um, or just over 600 uh, buildings. Uh, some of them we gave them back uh, to the owners where we could find them and put them on terms uh, to revitalize those buildings. And uh, for us as a city, we expropriated uh, some of them. By the time I left uh, in August of 2019, 154 of them were already passed by council awarded to the private sector to build affordable accommodation for our people. This project alone, uh, Francis, uh, was uh, going to bring in an investment of 32 billion rents in the city of Johannesburg, create uh, 14,000 uh, um, housing units, yeah. uh, creating 22,000 permanent jobs. Unfortunately, I left uh, before the, uh, the the implementation of this project because unfortunately discovered in 2019 when the ANC and DA had a plan to remove me as the mayor of the city of Johannesburg. Was this the, the problematic properties task team? Um, it was reported about at the time. So you say that there were expropriations planned. Why was there pushback? Am I right to say that it was mothballed after that and even the task team was investigated? Um, what problems were subsequent administrations concerned about? In fact, uh, uh, Francis, you can just uh, check on, on, on your media platforms uh, on the 1st of December 2016, I made uh, this uh, announcement um, during the day. By that uh, afternoon already, uh, 
massive um, uh, attacks were unleashed against me for making reference to the fact that uh, up to 80% of uh, people, most of the buildings we we raided uh, had foreign nationals uh, in them. And, but we said we don't have a choice whether you're a South African or a non, but not South African. Unfortunately, we have to uh, to, uh, to uh, reclaim those buildings. And uh, for that reason, from that day onwards, I was labeled all manner of names and so forth. The law enforcement agencies um, refusing to prosecute um, um, the kingpins of uh, this hijacking syndicates that we've uh, identified. It was a battle. I remember at yeah. one stage, even had to really go to when lay charge against uh, Ben Jabez, uh, the head of the Hawks at the time, for defeating the ends of justice because he was refusing uh, his investigators uh, from dealing with the with the cases uh, that uh, the city of Johannesburg was reporting to law enforcement agencies. So, so what I'm asking you is why because you were mayor at the time and i know it's a process and you do need um, other agencies to work with you but you can get a court order and you can reclaim buildings uh, you can deal with criminal cases surely did you reclaim any of the buildings in three years and if not why not when some of these cases uh, forget who's involved which nationality it's it's clear criminality these buildings are hijacked it's uh, precisely um, what I've just said to you, uh, uh, Francis. By the time I left, 154 buildings were already passed through council, already awarded to the private sector. In fact, the, even the last council... No, I'm saying, meeting, did you reclaim any of them in the three years? Yes, uh, 154. Not, not just reclaimed. They were already awarded to the private sector to build a photo. Yeah. Uh, were, were the hijackers out if they were hijacked? Yes, and now obviously the process is obviously you reclaim the, the those buildings and then we put them out in tender to the private sector to say here's the property or the land. You tell us um, how much you're going to to invest in the, in this property to refurbish it. How many people you you, you, you will employ? Um, how many units you will uh, you you are going to uh, uh, create? And all this process going through council. By the time I left, it was just really now about uh, our, for the the private sector to start development. They had already actually qualified. So unfortunately, why the new administration to stop the private sector? We had spent money to tender for this project, which is really very unfortunate. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Action SA leader Herman Mashaba.